I will explain about thread synchronization in Java programming. Then what is synchronization? Then what are the advantages of the synchronization? I will explain you in today's class. See here, the synchronization nothing but to controlling access to multiple threads to a particular shared resource. It means that two or more threads try to access the shared resource at the same time the data may be inconsistent or else which provides the wrong result that's why to overcome that problem we should use the synchronization synchronization is ensure that only one thread can access the shared resource at a time got my point if two or more threads try to access the shared resource at the same time, the data may be corrupted, the data may be inconsistent, which may produce a wrong result. To overcome that problem, to use synchronization, once you are using the synchronization, synchronization which allows only one thread to access the shared resource at a time. See here, why use synchronization? The synchronization is mainly used for two purposes. The first one is to prevent thread interference. The second was to prevent consistent problem. The thread interference means if the two or more threads access the shared resource at the same time, the data is not consistent. I will give the one example for it. The bank account there are two threads will be there, one thread for withdraw, another thread is for deposit. Okay, if the two threads are trying to access the account at the same time, what is the problem? Which provides the wrong result, our data is not consistent. Okay, that's why to prevent the consistency problem, all I told you, if you want to make the data is consistent, we must use the synchronization. Okay, I will explain with the help of the example how the exactly synchronization will be used in Java. There are two ways to implement the synchronized concept in the Java. One way is that by using the synchronization method, the another one is synchronized block. Here, the synchronized keyword has been used over here. It is a synchronized keyword. Then method name whichever method do you want to use it may have arguments here this is called like the shared resource here what the synchronization the what the synchronization will do here which allows only one thread to access the shared resource the remaining threads must be weighted over here okay or else we go for the second method that is called synchronized block the block is different, the method is different. The method is consists of many blocks. Got my point? Here, the synchronizer is applicable on particular object. Then we go for the synchronizer block. Here, if you are trying to access the multiple threads, okay, for example, the T1, T2, T3, then T4, four threads have been created. Four threads try to access the shared resource at a time. There is synchronized keyword which allows only one thread to access the resource at a time. Once it has been completed, the next thread has to be entered. Okay, it has to be completed, then another thread has to be entered. Then it has to be completed. Once you leave the resource, then another thread can access. Okay, it is taken care by synchronization. Then I will give the example for it. See here. This is example has been given for the synchronization. Actually, in this program, this is called as the shared resource. The print number is the shared resource. This number, if these number, this method can be accessed by the more than one thread, what is happening, we will see. Okay, here, I create the two or more threads by using the thread class. Okay, the reference object has been created. Okay, then first I will move on to the main method. See here, what is happening here, I will come to the main method. I create the object to the one shared EX class, then look at here, 
the shared ex class is there okay if you want to access the print number methods you must access the op you must create the object to this class okay come to here then here the two objects okay two threads have been created then this is the object of shared ex class then anurag1 i would like to put my own threads name the first thread should be anurag1 the second thread name was would be anurag2 okay anurag1 and anurag2 two threads have been created if it does not give this name the first thread name was thread0 the th uh, second thread name will be thread1 like that threads will be created with the default names okay to overcome the default names i have created my own name anurag1 and once you write this statement the constructor will get executed by the thread synchronization then control will comes to here here this will get executed the first one is the reference object has to be created the shared x class then name of the threads as passed as argument then here both are same that's why use the this keyword this which refers to the current object of a class okay this s equal to s then i'll creating the instance to the thread class this common name okay this which is applicable to current object name i would like to override the default name the first thread default name was thread 0 it was it was replaced by anurag1 then second thread default name was anurag thread 1 it was replaced by anurag2 okay once threads has been started t dot start okay once two threads have been started then control will comes to the run method here this is the run method i used the synchronized block okay this is called as synchronized block okay because i would like to use the synchronized block to access the shared resource at a time see here thread started the thread which thread is currently running get name okay to access this method because print number is the shared resource over here okay how if i use the synchronized keyword which means that the threads will be executed one after another. Here I use the synchronized keyword, but if it does not use the synchronized keyword, what is happening? I will show you. First, I will execute the with the help of the synchronized keyword. The run method will get executed. S dot print numbers. Then control will comes to here. Print numbers. The I equal to one. I less than or equal to five. I plus plus. Then I value printed. How it will printed? I equal to one. I equal to two then i equal to 3 then i equal to 4 then i equal to 5 but which thread has been executed i value okay here if you use the synchronization one after another okay it will be executed if it does not use the synchronization the data may be inconsistent okay i will show you with the help of the example see here See the program same program has been written over here then i will go for the execution see here thread started anurag one then i equal to one i equal to i equal to three i equal to four i equal to five then anurag one thread has been terminated then another thread has been started then anurag two then i equal to 1 to i equal to 5 has been displayed then thread terminated thread terminated equal to anurag here what is happening sequence of execution has done because one thread has started and executed and terminated next another thread has been started and executed one after another there at the time the data may be consistent which may, which may provide the correct result if you remove the synchronized keyword what is happening i will show you because i would like to remove the synchronized what is called synchronized keyword here i would commented this one then what is happening you can see here at this time two threads try to access the shared resource at the same time the data may be inconsistent then i will go for the execution CLS clear the screen. 
errors has to be found. Go for execution. Then see here. This has both threads have been started. Two threads has been started at the same time. Here, what is happening? Two threads try to access the shared resource at the same time. If you run once again, then it will it may produce a different result. Check it once. See what is happening. Previous result was different to compare with the this result because what kind of output has to be shown to you it is not correct because it is called as inconsistent data then if you use the synchronized keyword what has happened the threads will be executed one after another if it does not use the synchronized keyword the data is inconsistent okay if you have any doubt regarding the synchronization concept please may ask